What's good, YouTube? This is Rage Real. So, today's video, I want to show you guys this Team and Scheme series part 24. So, if you enjoy this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn those post notifications on. So, I hope you guys are having a great day. Now, before we go any further, I did officially finish the website, and here is that 35 second ad for the website. All things Madden will be the future for the Madden community. This is so much more than your standard ebook website. This website right here is designed for everything that you love to do in Madden. We know you love tournaments. We know you love to play CFLs. We have money CFLs. We have free CFLs. We even give you reward points for shopping on our website. There's also an amazing feature that we put on there called request an ebook. Now, this is the exact process that you'll go through when you actually check out and we also offer a number of payments so go ahead and head over to allthingsmadden.com to see what all the hype is about now as you guys can tell um i was not able to fit every single thing i wanted to talk about inside of that ad so if you want to know more about the website just keep watching because while the gameplay is going on i'll be talking to you guys about everything on the website and why i believe it is one of the best uh madden websites that is around so Anyways, let's go ahead and hop right into this video. So the formation we're talking about right here is Trio Y Flex, and we're talking about using it with the Redskins. Now, the Redskins is a really great team to use in rigs. Now, they do have some downsides, but this formation right here is extremely overpowered, in my opinion, and it might even come around in Madden 23, if you want me to be honest, if people start finding out about this formation. Now, um, what I'm going to talk about in this video before gameplay is the Blitz, because that's what you need to be aware of. Uh, and I like to show you what plays I like to do because if you look, we only have six people on the line of scrimmage, right? So that means technically somebody can hover the gap and send, you know, five and then hover the gap. And you, you know, you think that they're just going to scream all day. But I'll show you that that's actually not the case with this offense. So anyways, um, how I like to do, well, you see my audibles in game. But the play that I want to come out in uh, before I do that, I just want to show you they do have this RPO, which is actually really nice. They also have uh, have back base, which is a really great run play. As you guys know, they have dagger. They also have the four verse with the tight end because many people just love that combo for some reason. Um, now, shock H option is a pretty decent play, actually, if you set it up correctly. And also curl flat. Now, curl flat is what we're going to talk about in this small little section. Now, what I'm going to do is simulate the worst kind of defense you'll face, and that's going from three through five normal to wide and they're going to man blitz and i'll show you exactly why i like this versus that so what we're going to do is back the ball up a tiny bit and then we're going to put the ball on this right hash right here and you want to run this where your three three receivers are on the wide side of the field now as you guys know if they're not going to blitz you of course you know it's just your standard trips tight end style offense or your trips tight end flex style but when they actually start to try to blitz you so let's say they go here and go to mike blitz zero uh and what they'll do is they'll slide their line and then I'll actually stand in this gap a lot of times. So what's going to happen is that they're going to get a man free a lot of times. So how do you combat that real? So what I like to do is actually go to anytime somebody wants to blitz me or I feel like they're trying to blitz, I will go to curl flat. Now, as you guys know, this crosser right here is really great for man cover. So if you want to, you can put your best receiver here if you want. Um, but I like to keep my best receiver, my fastest receiver on the outside. And I like my other receiver going here. Now, you can put your second or third here. It's really up to you on that one. But... Anyways, why do I like this? Because you notice how he's not attached to the line of scrimmage. Now, he's actually on a block and release style of route. So, he actually will. I just want to snap the ball and just show you real quick that he actually will block that guy. Um, notice how, um, well, in gameplay, it's a lot better than that. He'll normally block the end man on the line of scrimmage. Let's see if we can ID because uh, that almost never happens where he just dumbs out that hard. Um, but you'll see in gameplay that my opponent is trying to blitz me the whole game because he sees that I only have six people on the line of scrimmage. And he's going to try to send essentially seven, but uh, it doesn't normally work for him. Uh, and that's because this tight end normally does block. Now you can try IDing that guy, but a lot of times he will block him. So notice that, okay, so you want to ID that guy and that's going to be able to buy you a little bit more time. And obviously you just wouldn't get a bad throw like that. So if they're blitzing you um, and that person somehow gets through on the edge, make sure you are IDing that person because uh, apparently it's actually important to who the uh, tight end actually is going to block. So it's always better, I guess, to re-ID him. Uh, let's go ahead and test that out right here. So notice how we re-ID him. And then he's actually going to chip that guy right there. And then, of course, you know, we have time to deliver that. But uh, there's other things you can do. I just wanted to show you that that tight end for sure does block. Um, just so you didn't think it was any fluke. Uh, now, let's go back to this man blitz. So if somebody's man blitzing you and you want a nice setup. Now, there's a couple things you can do. It all depends on what they're doing. So a lot of times they may press. 
and they may uh, actually do press animations because they're sending an all-out blitz. If they are doing that, what I suggest you do is take circle, put them on a slant, and then we're gonna uh, take square, put him on a fade, and make sure that's your fastest player, or you can put your best receiver out there uh, because if they're actually trying to man press. And you can actually see if you get the win animation on that streak, or you can just look between circle and square. So notice that I didn't really see the win animation, but I'm gonna be able to have time to deliver that dot. And what's crazy is that your opponent is not gonna be able to, uh, he's gonna think that he can scream at you. So they're gonna sit in this defense for a little while. That's why I wanted to take time to show it. Because if you're looking, like I said, it looks like that tight end just can't block anybody, but he actually is, but this time he didn't. But like I said, cause you wanna make sure you ID this person every single time. So always ID the in men online scrimmage if you want him to block. Cause if not, then he kind of just dumbs out from the looks of it. Or it could be just because of this particular front. But anyways, you can tell um, we're still gonna have time to sit in here and deliver and throw a strike. And you want to read from, you know, this. So if they're shading over the top, a lot of times you'll have this route that normally gets wide open versus that. Or the slant is going to get wide open versus that too. Um, that's how I like to make that read. And a lot of times this is not going to happen when they all out blitz. Your tight end will stay in the block and you will have a three. You know, you have three routes on the field. So I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. Now everything else as far as my setups, you, you're about to see that in the gameplay in a second. So let's go on and dive right into this gameplay. All right, so we are matched up against the Seahawks, and he did score his first drive. So now we are now offense ourselves. Now, as you guys kind of watch this gameplay, I really want to talk to you guys about my website uh, because I may redo the ad or make it longer. I haven't decided. So I'm going to test it out a little bit and see how I like it at being 35. But the problem I had being 35 seconds, I just can't I can't share with you guys exactly why this website special. So I'm going to talk about it in this video since this is the day I'm actually you know releasing it to you guys. So what's great about this website is that it's for the whole community so everybody can make money on it so if you want to become an affiliate meaning that um you want to promote the uh website all you have to do is post the link you basically sign up it's an easy sign up process you'll get a, a special link that you can use and then you're going to post that link uh wherever you want to and anybody that uh makes a purchase with that link you're going to get 25 percent of whatever they buy so it's really nice um and also this is not a uh one thing i did want to mention too and i may go back and uh, redo my ad now this is not a um like a team you know how some some guys in the madden community they have like teams you know where the, it's on their website but they're all saying like you know oh they're a team like the pros or something like that it's none of that this is essentially a website that's designed to show you everybody so essentially if you were new let's pretend you were new to madden right um and you had no idea what was going on with madden you didn't know any youtubers you didn't really know the community as right there we cook up a nice dot but let's say you just didn't know the community right so what you'll do is you'll be able to come to our website and then you'll be able to know exactly you know everything you need to know about madden you know as far as you know who the content creators are if they have any ebooks you know if they have any websites you know those are going to be the things that you will come to our website for and you also can purchase ebooks so one thing i want to make clear just because uh the people that you see on the website uh doesn't actually mean they're on you know that they're affiliated with us yet so the reason i put them on there is so you guys can understand that um that is the goal in mind is to get everyone inside the Madden community who makes content on the website to actually post their own ebooks and you know make money from it. That's pretty much what I want because some people don't know how to you know put together an ebook websites. Most people are really good at the game, but they don't understand how to you know do that part of it. So I'll provide that platform for them. So that's all we want to do. We want to provide that platform for them to just you know be able to shine. That's all I want. Uh, that's the whole idea behind it. I want everybody to make money from it, even you. And you know, that's just, you know, I want everybody to eat, man. That's honestly it. So right here, we actually did cook up a nice little dot. So that's Curtis Sammy. Now that is the uh, option play, the uh, Y option. I forgot the name of it, but the uh, Shock H option play. Now, if you guys want an ebook uh, from now on, um, all you have to do is just go to the website and then you're going to request an ebook. So you'll see it on there. Um, so let's say you like this formation right here and you want some more setups. Then what you can do is actually go on the website. It's like $15. And you request the ebook and then also make sure you check the frequently asked questions because it's going to answer those questions like how long would it take to you know get the ebook ready how does the process work you know i'll be able to show you that right on the website so it's just real nice um so that's how i'm gonna do it for now on because i have a lot of you guys that hit me up for ebooks and i love getting them to you guys i love making them and the process i had before was a little bit more complex you know because you had to message me and i had to make it and I had to send you a link, you know, so it's a, you know, it's a, it's a little process. So this is going to make it easier for everybody. Now, right here, what I was trying to test, I was trying to test if I could actually motion in that tight end to block him. 
Um, but um, that's the only unfortunate thing is that there's only certain plays you can use uh, to handle the blitz. So right here, I was actually looking on the left side of the field. I wanted, uh, I didn't think he would actually play man with his own. I thought he was going to be just playing straight, true man coverage. That's why I did a zig route. And uh, if I would have looked on the right side, I had a touchdown with a tight end. Uh, but fourth and goal, so I noticed he was playing some type of soft squat or maybe a cloud with that uh, corner and playing man cover. So that's why I put triangle. Well, I put circle on a streak, and I like triangle on that route. So I'm going to specifically read that side. So right there, I noticed a little gap. And thank God they actually let me hit that gap because sometimes they don't give you that throw. So right here, man, uh, third and 11. Um, opponent right here. I just wanted to show you this right here. So essentially, it was a great dot by him. Um, now I put a middle third. My middle third didn't follow because I was playing zone drops. And if you guys didn't know, anytime middle thirds don't follow, it's probably because you're playing a zone drop. I don't know why it's like that for current gen, but that's how it works. Uh, but you can tell right here, he, we got some type of little message, and we was having a great game. And um, just unfortunate uh, because we actually do lag out. Now I actually did get the win, so I'm pretty sure it was something dealing with his stuff. But we went ahead and queued up right after that, and we were going to just hop straight into another game. So, like I said, normally I only play like one or two games a day. So, I just, you know, that happened, and it was a good, you know, it was actually going to be, it seemed like it was going to be a high offensive scoring game with the last opponent. Because he definitely uh, knew a lot of meta setups and stuff like that. A lot of meta uh, formation, so I knew it was going to be a pretty good game. But, anyways, man, um, I hope you guys check out the website. Seriously, though, uh... Make sure you just go look around, look at all the things you can do on there, look at all the features. Also, um, make sure you do sign up for the, uh, if you're interested in any of the tournaments or any of the CFLs. I know you guys ask me that a lot. Um, make sure you do actually do that. Now, if you ever want to play me, um, what you can do is actually sign up for a coaching session. Uh, that may be how I do that. Now, don't quote me yet, but make sure you go in there and look. Um, by the time you see this video, I may put out an actual se separate section for if you want to play me. Um, now, I can't say play other content creators because they would actually need to be on the same page as me. And this is a uh, page is almost uh, designed to promote them and not like try to tell you guys, hey, join our team. It's just a community. You know, that's all we are. Um, so meaning that anybody can join. Now, there are requirements for you to be a team member and make sure. So if you're a content creator yourself, make sure you do kind of uh, read the requirements and make sure you do meet the requirements before you sign up because uh, I want to make sure that whoever is on this website and that I put, you know, their information on here. I put their ebooks on here. I want to make sure it's 100% valid. I want to make sure you're, you know, authentic and it's not just some BS that you put together just to get paid. You know, so there is little requirements that goes with that. So, like I said, man, it's just it's a lot, and I'm really excited, man. I hope you guys love it too, man, because to me, it can actually shape up to be the future of how Madden is driven. And it's designed to keep everybody on the same page. Hopefully one day EA will actually take a look at the website themselves. That's kind of the hope behind it. And right here, that was actually crazy. I was not expecting them to pick that. Now, I know you're going to say it wasn't open. I know, but out routes normally beat man cover. So I just wanted to see, but um, they just gave him the best animation possible. Normally they do like a little knockdown animation at the least. So he did try to go for two for whatever reason, but he did not get it. So it is going to be 6-0. And uh, yeah, so now I figured... So anytime somebody plays with the Cowboys, they literally just are going to sit in all man coverage. Uh, now, right here, I wanted square really bad, but he just got absolutely bad, which is pretty rare because that route is really good versus man coverage. That deep post, if there's no middle third or the mid read, sometimes the mid read may match it. But normally that route is extremely good versus man coverage. But yeah, Curtis Samuel just got clamped up right there. So sadly, this is how people play with the Cowboys, you know. Um, now, his name is Sean uh, Caliboy, so he might actually... Um, no, I was thinking it might have something to do with Cowboy, but I think I was reading it too much. But anyway, right there, uh, he's just going to just, you know, we're going to find a little soft gap. But he literally sat in man coverage pretty much the whole entire time. But anytime somebody picks a Cowboy, that's all I ever see them in, which I don't blame them because Cowboys have nothing but fast DBs. And they have Michael um, Parsons, who is just, you know, you guys know he's just a menace. So anyway, uh, one of the good things that that RPO right there can throw it against man coverage. It all depends on what style of man they're in. Like, who's manned up on him, where he's lined up at. That does matter when you throw that little RPO. So, yeah. Uh, this is how most people play. Every time I play the Cowboys, it's either, uh, it's either like a nickel normal style defense, a big nickel style, or it's 2-4-5. Uh, That's literally what it is most of the time. Now, right there, 
like I was telling you guys, that route is just really good versus man coverage. And he actually did get the separation right there. So we are going to be able to get the touchdown. So thank God, man, uh, we were able to come back and answer. Now, I just want to show you guys a little defense. You guys know I love showing you defense. So right here, uh, we're going to try to hover this gap, send a little pressure, high pressure defense. And like I said, we are going to get the pick, man. Um, now, I don't high pressure defense everybody. It all just depends on what style of player you are. Uh, some people can handle the pressure. Some people can't. So if you show me you can handle the pressure, then I'll stop blitzing you um, or just start mixing up a lot more so uh yeah so this is going to be the last drive i do believe so yeah this is actually the last play of the game for him um so we actually were gonna uh defend the pass but he audible down so i figured he was still gonna pass it now watch this right here everything's pretty much taken away he tried to throw that up and maybe on madden 23 they would have gave him that but sadly madden 22 he cannot throw that but that's gonna wrap it up for this video though i do hope you guys have a blessed day make sure you go try out this offense it's really fun but hope you guys have a blessed day <laughs> i'm rage real and i'm out Thank you.